It's Figma time! Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today I'm gonna have a look at the Figma SP078 Racing Miku 2016 version. Now I got a little bit of backstory for this one. This is my first ever Hatsune Miku figure, barring the one from the Lucky Star review I did recently from the Hiragi Kagami who was dressed up cosplaying as Hatsune Miku. We're not really counting that because it's, I mean it's technically a Miku, but it's not the Miku, it's a cosplay. The funny thing is when I did review that, I realized that I don't have a Miku. And with Figmas, they have done a lot of Miku figures. They have been like for 100, they have been like for 200, and uh, every year since, what, 2010 or 2011, there has been a racing Miku. The point is, Good Smile just recently released a statue of the racing Miku design, and I really like that one for the colorful vibe, the boots and everything going on. But then the Figma version popped up on Ami Ami pre-owned section, and now we're here. <coughs> The smell of a new figure is always nice, but the mufti smell of a pre-owned figure is not nice, let me tell you. Good thing this doesn't have a uh, smell of, we don't have smell of vision. Miku stands at almost 13 and a half. Almost, just shy of it, but I would say like 13, 2, 13, 3. Really to the top of her head, which means overall about 5 and a half inches tall. As I've already mentioned, the main feature of this figure is the paint job and uh, overall the coloring. You got the... I'm gonna start off at the bottom. Usually I start off with the face, but I really love the red boots that kind of go into the orange tone. And really, even yellow tips on, on the boots themselves and the, the heels. Really nice, really vibrant, and I really like the transition. And over here with the... what is it even? Is it like a stocking boot combination? I don't really know. We got some blue, we got some light blue, we got some less light blue, some more light blue, we got some yellow, we got some orange. We got the colorful lines going down her dress, the good smile racing low. And actually what's under her dress, let me see if there's some more detail. Yeah, there's actually some more paint. Dress is hard plastic? Hmm, that's weird. Uh, I got the pantsu, well not really pantsu, more like hot pants. And actually yeah, the line goes up over there and here you got like just a red line. Kind of like a garabelt thing going on down there. So yeah, the left side of the figure is like all red and I just realized that there's a theme going on. You got like all red on this side and you got like the colorful blue and red tones on the other side. And of course the hair. The hair is just crazy. You got some red over there, some more red strains going down. The very nice and colorful tips. Also fairly hard plastic and it does get a little bit see at the end over there but I really love this blue blue yellow orange my god it's like a rainbow in her hair and we also got this thing coming down from her neck I don't really know what I call that but it says Pia Pia Pro Pia Pro yeah whatever we got some more stuff on the back Max Factory freeing and gift and Ban Presto I didn't really know Ban Presto had anything to do with good smile and we got another good smile racing on her arm and it also says Krypton over there. And I think that's it for all the logos. Usually I started off with the anime eyes but we're keeping that one for last this time but it doesn't mean that it's bad. No, quite the opposite. Look at all the detail, look at all the stuff that's going on. We got like the uh, greenish from the dark going into light and just like this little stripe over there. I, I mean I just could do a complete review of all the cool anime eyes that Figma does, I really dig it. And the mouth, a little bit of teeth in there, and she also has some headphones on. Those are nicely molded, nicely painted, and some more detail in the hair. And that's all for the overall look of the figure. Now for your articulation, you got the regular Figma stuff. First of all, the hair is on cut ball joints, so you got some very nice range actually. It goes out all the way, and it goes down, and you can also rotate it around, of course, because there's some ball joints. And for the hat, you got the ball joint in there, so we can bring that forward very nicely. It doesn't really go back that much. That does go up a little bit. It does go also side to side, and of course you can rotate it around. For your shoulder articulation, you got the double ball combination. You got one ball in the torso, so you can rotate it around. Bring it back and bring it forward and up and down. And of course you got the big ball joint in the shoulder itself, so you can rotate it around. Over there, have a bicep swivel, you can bring it up quite far as well. It kind of disconnects, that's why it goes up so far. You can kind of pull it down a little bit so it doesn't block itself on the torso. And then we got the single hinge in the elbow. You got the ball joint in the hand so you can bring that up and down and spin it around of course. 
Torso articulation is pretty limited, there's not really that much room to spin around, but it's nice, you know, it doesn't leave any gap, so I'm okay with that. Now the leg articulation, let's see, it doesn't really go forward that much because, as I've told you, the dress, for whatever reason, it is hard plastic. It's not really bendable, they should really, they should have really made the tips here soft plastic. As a result, you can't really get the legs forward a lot. I mean, it does work. You can really tell it's just the, the, the dress that's limiting your articulation. Goes back, okay, I mean, that's, that's nicely, and goes out to the side because you have some room over there. And of course, also rotates around at the thigh over here on the ball joint. And do you, can you wiggle that one around? Yeah, you can wiggle around the entire crotch piece over here so you can get some more motion out of that I mean combine that with the legs it's not so bad then we got a single hinge in the knee and for your foot articulation you got another ball hinge so you can bring it back and forth a little bit and it doesn't really rotate out I think the way it's molded you don't really have any room so can't really get it to rotate and I, it might work but I don't want to break it so if you want to rotate it out try it but be careful with it now for the accessories, she does come with a lot of unique stuff, but I'm gonna start it off with the regular stuff, the boring stuff. <laughs> she got two pointy fingers, holding hands, and fist hands, and we got one more face where she just kind of wings. Then we got an umbrella, a regular white umbrella, but you actually got stickers for that, I'll get to that in a minute. But of course you also have the handle, which you just connect over here, put it in there, and then you have your umbrella. Okay, okay, and you got the umbrella in the closed version, blah blah blah, almost stuttering over there. Now the problem with the umbrella is, it's just white, and they give you stickers to put it on. Now, don't get me wrong, the stickers look cool, they are very nice and colorful, and uh, I got a couple, I mean it's almost the same design, I don't know why they made two sheets. Maybe to put them also inside, but you can't really inside, well I guess you could put them inside if you really slide them through over there but obviously you only need eight because an umbrella has eight sides so I don't know I guess those are extras or whatnot I mean the stickers look cool but it should have just been painted on anyhow then we got a flag a racing flag I guess colorful very nicely molded like a flame over here I dig that design we got this see-through kind of prism thing going on and whatever the hell this is just like, all the molding that's spent on a staff it, it really makes it look majestic of course you got your Figma base that's the standard your classic and I think that's it is that it that's it uh, no of course you got Figma back <laughs> another standard so there you go that's it and that's gonna bring me to the final thoughts what do I think about this figure guys I really like it I'm really happy with this figure. As I mentioned even before I took it out of the packaging, I love the design, I love the colorfulness like in the boots and in the hair and all the stuff that's going on over here. And I think where she really excels is that she brings some very cool new accessories to your Figma collection. You got the flag, you got the umbrella, which of course it only has stickers which is a bummer and speaking of bummers, she is a little bit limited in the articulation because of the dress being Hard plastic, and it, that's a minimal problem, really. As I've, as we've seen, the the leg articulation is still pretty good. And I mean, yeah, overall, I do recommend this figure if you can still find her. Package is great, paint job is great, very colorful, cool design. I said that like a million times, but there you go. I'm just gonna end it before I ramble on some more. So uh, as usual, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, gameplay stuff, and whatever Hatsune Miku wants. Oh, my God.